Hello and welcome to my review of the Umarex Hameli 850 Air Magnum um, in 2.2 calibre. Uh, this is a CO2 powered uh, bolt action rifle with uh, an 8 shot rotary magazine and today I'm just going to be giving you a quick overview of my particular version and what I think of it. I purchased this um, in a kit form and it was uh, originally equipped with this um, silencer on the on the front and the bipod um, but the scope that it came with was not very good and I have actually swapped that a little bit more about that later. Uh, the original kit comes with uh, fibre optic uh, front and rear sights but I've actually removed those because um, it gives it a slightly cleaner look um, and as I'm not using the open sights anyway uh, it's not that relevant to me um, but you can see there the holes where they've been removed and there uh, obviously I'd have had to re remove the rear sight because it interferes with the scope. The bipod attaches to um, an integral rail which is part of the foregrip. Uh, it's got a standard um, rail um, for a standard air rifle scope. Uh, the trigger is adjustable. Um, I have adjusted it slightly as it was a little bit of a long pull for me and um, that can be done just uh, using a, a regular screwdriver through the hole there. The gun comes with two of these eight shot rotary magazines and uh, I would recommend and I will be purchasing some more of these because this gun's so much fun to shoot that uh, it's uh, more fun to shoot than it is to reload. The uh, rifle is bolt action as you can see. Um, to, to load a magazine you push this switch to the rear and then the magazine goes in from the other side. Try and show this better and slots in like so. I don't think I've got the bolt all the way back, that's it. And it slides in and then you just push this lever forward and then the bolt goes forward like so. When you cock the action the uh, safety is automatically applied. Um, some people don't like this feature but you soon get used to it and it becomes a, an automatic motion to um, disengage the safety if you're shooting. Um, you can disengage it just by pushing down like so but you can also re-engage the safety if you find that you need to. Now, I've obviously not got a, a pellet in the rifle at the moment so I'm just going to release it. Okay. Difficult to do one handed and hold the camera. Let's pop that out. Like so. Okay, a little bit about the scope. Um, the original scope was a 4 times 9 zoom scope, um, but it did not have um, the ability to adjust for parallax settings, um, and that means that it's quite difficult to get the consistent groupings. Um, especially within the scope, it's actually zeroed in at 100 metres and I don't think there'll be many people shooting this uh, type of rifle at that distance. Um, this one has got an adjustable parallax and it goes down as low as about 10, I think 15 yards, 10 or 15 yards to up to infinity. Um, it's got a 3 times 12 zoom and it's also got uh, adjustable um, rear stat uh, for illuminated reticle. Uh, I don't know whether you can see that on this shot but the there's actually mill dots on there um, so you can more easily adjust for windage and elevation um, without uh, changing the uh, setting on the scope and the that's with the uh, reticle illuminated. Uh, it can be set to red or green, I've set it for red uh, for better contrast. Um, I'm going to be shooting at a distance of just slightly less than 25 yards, uh, sorry 25 metres um, and uh, I'll be able to give you an indication of the sort of groupings that are possible uh, with this rifle. 
and I'll be shooting with a uh, Crossman uh, Premier. Uh, these are 14.3 gram um, grain uh, pellets, a 0.93 of a gram. Um, I was previously using um, these. Um, the only reason that I've swapped over is because they didn't have any of those in at the shop and I thought I'd have a crack at trying some new pellets, slightly lighter ones. The ones I'd been using before were slightly heavier at uh, 16 grains, at just over a gram. Now i found that when loading these pellets, these are a slightly shorter pellet than the one I'd been using before. As I'll demonstrate. Um, and the one on the right is the Diablo. And we can see that Diablo is a little bit taller, and that is relevant when it comes to loading the magazines. Now I found when using the shorter pellet that if you don't push them down into the well, what they, what can happen is they can fall backwards out of the magazine when it's loading. That's a bit of a pain. But if you push them in a little bit with the um, skin of your finger, um, careful not to damage the skirt, they'll actually go past that um, gasket and it holds the pellet in place so they won't drop out for forwards or backwards and they uh, therefore won't end up in bits of the gun that they shouldn't be in and they'll feed uh, more easily when you operate the bolt action. And this rifle uses uh, 88 gram CO2 cartridge uh, screws in. Um, there is an adapter available which uh, you can attach to smaller 12 gram CO2 cartridges um, if you um, don't want to do a lot of shooting. Um, I find that you can get around about um, 160 shots, that's about 20 um, magazines through uh, before you start to notice a, a drop off in pressure.